Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, I'm going to demo a image upload feature for specifically for the user profile. So when a user registers, they're going to be able to choose and upload an image that will be their profile image. And then they can actually visit their profile and change it later once they've registered. So when you go to the register link here, you can sign up as a new user. Go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so you can see. And then right here for the image, you can choose a file. Let's see what happens when we don't choose an image. So we'll submit. And then we'll go to our profile. And you can see right off the bat, it gave us a default user profile. And so at this point, you can delete that and change it to something new. So this requires our password to be able to update the profile. You can choose an image here. All right, so with the image selected, you go ahead and submit. And if it works, it'll tell you profile successfully updated. And there you have it. The circle, it's actually a square image, but then I used CSS. I just applied a class and did the border radius 50%, made it a circle. Because that's what the kids are doing these days. It looks cool like that. So there's your profile image. You get the default one. When you sign up, of course, if you want, you can register and create the image simultaneously. And so you could pick an image and upload it right off the bat. And then when you go to your profile, you'll see that image. And from here, you can change it. So you can make it a different image. Of course, it's gonna want that password to be able to update the profile. There it is. So the changes are gonna happen in the, let's see here, in your middleware, there's going to be some changes. In your profile.ejs view, in your register.ejs view, in your index routes, in your index controller, and your user model. And then you're going to have to upload a default image or put a default image in the public images folder if you want to have that feature. And so this is just using what we've already learned in the past about Cloudinary. To upload an image, you know, delete an image whenever you upload a new image to replace it, things like that. So go ahead and give it a try. I think it'll be a good challenge for you all. And then tomorrow we'll have the actual instruction video that shows you how to do it. And of course, once you're done trying it, you can check against the follow along that I have, which still needs to be tested, but it should be pretty much all the code that you need. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot. We'll catch you all tomorrow.